they were presented to President Paul Kagame like gifts. These presents contain petitions calling for a constitutional amendment that could see Kagame in office for a third term. The petitions contained at least 3.7 million signatures, which is close to half of the country's registered voters. Kagame has done lots of things for this country. Security is a priority. He's improved access to education. But not all Rwandan voters want Kagame to stay in office. Those who don't seem to have to hide their displeasure out of fear of being labelled an enemy of the state. I thought that I could not sign this petition, this form, so I pretended to go to the toilet. But then I left completely. I didn't go back. We know of lots of people who were fired because they refused the demands of the ruling party. The government has so far denied coercing voters to sign the petition. I think that it would be a big lie to say that there were 3.6 million people who were forced to leave their signatures. If there are errors, we can correct them. But it's not the FPR which has committed these errors. Many in the West have voiced their disapproval of this constitutional change, especially after events in neighboring Burundi. But after the recent arrest of Rwandan intelligence chief Karenzi Karake in London, Neither the president nor his party are seemingly listening. If the Rwandan parliament approves the change, President Kagame is likely to be re-elected in 2017. With the political crisis still brewing in neighboring Burundi, the international community is concerned that a third term bid for Kagame could create more regional tension. Wazir Khamsin, CCTV.